Oh, there's a killing. No, what's, what's, what's going on what's in Iraq? Place? Why are they killing women for not wearing the hijabs? Why do you, why, 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 Talk to him now. Come on, come on, now talk to him. Can I talk to him? Can I talk to him? Yeah, yeah, talk to him. Now talk to him. Now talk to him. Okay, one second. You were so confused. Doji, Doji. Doji, talk to him now. Hi. Dude, thank you for making my point. Thank you. Let me elaborate on my point. Okay, let me elaborate on my point. A woman, a woman. What you said was wrong. Can I speak? A woman in this country who wears a mini skirt, does she choose to wear it? Ask a woman. I'm not no, no, one second, one second. Very simple. A woman who, uh, a woman who has to spend two hours doing her makeup. One second, brother, please, brother, brother, please, please, allow me, allow me. A woman who chooses to get her buttocks done. Does she choose to get her buttocks done? Dude, I'm not a woman, no, no, so no, don't no, ask no, me no, this no, question. No, no. Let, me, let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you, read a book. One second, read Maybe a book. Maybe she's a stripper. Maybe she's a stripper. My friend, my friend, if she's a stripper, then not all of the women have become strippers then. Everyone will marry them. You're asking me a stupid question, I'm going to give you a stupid answer. You're saying, why is the woman getting her buttocks hurt? Maybe she was a stripper. No, no, the point is this. A Brazilian woman died, literally dead, because she was going for a procedure to get her backside bigger. One second, one second, one second. The point I'm trying to make Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, the point I'm trying to make is very clear. Yeah. You are claiming that when a Muslim woman wears a hijab, she's oppressed, yes? No. Possibly. I'm saying that in Iran, they're getting killed for not wearing my, a hijab. My friend, my friend, what's okay. happening in France? Sorry? What's happening in France? I'm talking about Iran. I'm talking about France as well. We're going to talk about both of them. You're talking okay. about one, I'm going to talk so, about both of them. No, we were talking France? about Iran. Okay, what about France? Islam is what about France? women who wear this. What? That's what he France? said. They what's happening in the France? Girls that are here, they okay, said, what's happening in France? Choice. No, they don't have a choice. I'm telling you, no, no, they don't have a choice. I'm telling you very categorically clear. Any Muslim woman that. Uh, uh, no, I'm saying that in Iran they're getting killed for not wearing much. My friend, my friend, what's up in France? Sorry? What's up in France? I'm talking about Iran. I'm talking about France as well. You're talking about both of them. You're talking about what I'm going to talk about both of them. No, we're not talking about Iran. Okay, what about France? Islam is what about France? women to wear this. What's up in France? They what's happening no, in the France? The girls that were here, they okay, said, what's oh, we have France? a choice. We no, they don't have a choice. I'm telling you, no, no, they don't have a choice. I'm telling you very categorically clear, any Muslim woman that says she chooses to wear the hijab, it's false in the sense what? Do they have a free will to choose it? Yes, but Allah tells them to. Do I choose to grow the beard? No, I do it because I'm told to. Do I choose to wake up for the morning prayer? No, I am told to. Now, you're claiming a woman who wears the hijab and a man who grows his beard is forced. Now I'm saying to you, not necessarily, because the Western woman who choose to wear mini skirts in freezing temperatures, who wear this much heel, who get their nose, lips, eyes, backside, breasts and all kinds of stuff done, they don't wake up Can and you say, show me any woman Let me here this. with that description? Are you kidding me? This show is why you don't know. One. Read a book called Beauty Sick. Exactly one second, exactly one second. Okay, there are, there are, there are women allow me. that might do that, allow me. not all women my do that. My friend, my friend. Not all Western have you, women. Have you read You're generalizing book? here. Have you read don't a book called Beauty Sick? Don't stop generalizing by saying Western women. No, not all Western women are doing that. Have you read a book called Beauty Sick? What is that? Have you read it? It's a book, Beauty Sick. Okay, I don't know why you read it. Read it. Why? Let me tell you why. Why? Because in that book, it talks about the Western woman who starve themselves to look a certain way. Okay, one second. The Western woman, well, the Western woman, the beauty industry is a multi-billion pound industry, yeah? You are claiming that a woman wakes up and goes, you know when we had the pandemic, when we had to all wear the masks, do you remember that? Do you know what happened when we were told that we don't need to wear masks anymore? Majority of women were carrying on wearing the masks. Do you know why? Because they didn't want to be judged based on their looks. So they were carrying on wearing the mask so they don't have to put makeup on. This is the Western woman that you're talking about is free and liberated. So what you're talking about is an absolute lie. I'm not let talking me tell about the free and liberated. Okay, listen. You are claiming. No, 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 no. They I are didn't forced. claim all of that. That they is your forced. claim. 
They are forced claim. to get their lips done. They Brother. are forced to get their nose done. No. They are forced to wear makeup. Who, That's my point. Good, good. Who is Thank you. Them? Good point. Okay, Let me tell you who's forcing okay, them. Yeah. The beauty industry, yeah. societal the pressure, industry. the opposite gender. Let me speak. Okay. Let me and speak. if I say the you same thing, that the family, that the society question. is oppressing them into wearing their hijab. You ask me a question. You ask me a question. That's the same argument. You ask me a question. Did you get the same argument? You ask me a question. You asked, no. Listen, you made this argument that the society is is putting them in this situation. Can I make my argument? I'm saying that your society is putting these women Thank in you. this situation Thank you. to wear that. Thank you. Can I make I'm my saying. point now? Thank you. Now, he said to me, who is forcing this woman? Now, when we talk about force, he thinks somebody goes and gets a gun and says, hey, wear a mini skirt and put makeup on. That, and that's get not the only One force. Second. There are different types that's of That's my point. Thank yeah. you very much. So my point is what? Force is not just somebody putting a gun to your head. If, for example, you are watching yes, movies... Yes, it is in Islam, because they're talk. killing women in Iran. I can't even talk. Look, there okay, you go. go ahead, it just go shows ahead. how weak you are when you don't let me to talk. No, go ahead. So, yeah. he said, what is forcing them? Number one, the beauty industry. Number two, the opposite gender. Number three, other women. Number four, societal pressures. Why would a woman wake up and say, I'm going to spend two hours doing my makeup, and then, you know what? My lips are a bit small. I'm going to get my lips done. My family members, who are non-Muslim, most of them have got their nose done. And I asked him a question, I said, why did you find the need to get your nose done? Oh, because she did and it looked good on her. I'm like, well, hold on a second. So not that you chose to, but because the beauty standards, and this is the book I'm telling you Are to you going to finish? Are we going to have some timing? Because you're going to keep going on. I'm not just here to stand and I know what I'm saying is hurting you. Okay, no, it's not me hurting me. The it thing is, is, it's too long. It is. So you got to come to an no, no, end. No, 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 no. I'm here okay. to talk. Well, yeah? let's, let's just... Yeah, let's uh, time it, no problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me three minutes. You speak three minutes, yeah? Okay, fine. Yeah, and my time starts now. Okay, Thank you very much, yeah? Okay, so my point is very simple, yeah? His argument is what? Muslim women are oppressed and they're being beaten and killed to wear the hijab. That's not my, okay. No, don't straw my just destroyed my minute, bro. Don't, don't I'm going to start again. No, don't I'm going to start man. again. Don't straw You're going to have no, your say. Man. You're going to have your say. I'll start my minute, okay, three minutes right. again. Good. His <laughs> claim is what? He can claim, if he can claim, yeah? Muslim women are oppressed, the Western women are free. No, no, I didn't say that. You just destroyed okay, just, my minute again. No. I'll start again. One second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Go ahead. One second. 45 pass. Two, one. I'll start again. Now, the point I'm trying to make is this. The Western woman is not free. The Muslim woman is not free. What is the difference between them? One, God says, wear the hijab. The other one, society says. Now, Allah says in the Quran, have you seen the one, I'm paraphrasing, that the one who has one master and the one who has multiple masters. One master tells you do A, you do A. The other one, there's three masters. What should I do? Uh, get your lips done. Okay, lips done. No, no, get your eyes done. Okay, I got my eyes done. And my nose, and my buttocks, and my breasts. Okay, what do I do now? Now, I'm asking you guys a question. And I've still got time, by the way. I've got two minutes. I'm, I'm doing quite good, actually, yeah? So now, oh, the you Muslim were woman... five minutes before that. No, 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 no. I, I'll allow you. Okay, I've got two minutes. Now, the point is this. The Muslim woman obeys the creator. The Western woman has multiple creators. The beauty industry, the, the peer pressure, other women, all kind of pressures that is forcing them to dress up a certain way. Why would a woman in freezing cold winter Wear a mini skirt and this much heels, and it's so cold. Wallahi, I used to do Uber. You see in front of you, they pick up their heels and they walk bare naked. Have you ever walked on pavement? Bro, wallahi, I stood once. I said, I would be lying in the shaitan regime. They are walking bare, barefooted, yeah. And I'm talking, sorry, barefooted, yeah. The point I'm saying is this why do, do you think that woman wakes up and says, I choose to wear a mini skirt? I choose to walk with this much heels. No, you don't. You only do it because the pr uh, pressure of society. Now, I'm asking you a simple question. Which one is better? They are both told to do something. One obeys the creator and the other obeys the creation. As a Christian man, do you believe that we should obey God's laws or the laws of man-made laws? And I'm giving you one minute early start. No, you, you, you got three you minutes. took five minutes and you took seven minutes. How many do you, how long do you want? Okay, I, I, I need to have three to four minutes. At five, least. four minutes for you. Yeah, four, let's go start. four minutes, okay. So first of all, the Bible says a woman should dress modestly. So anything other than that, it's called vanity. So a vanity industry is big. It's not only big in the West, it's also big in the, in the Muslim countries. All these women are wearing makeup. If they wear a hijab, but they wear a lot of makeup, they wear do whatever they want. There's a lot of beauty industry in, the, in those countries. That's not even a question. Everybody knows that they're obsessed by their beauty as well. Now, it's like, what does that have to do with, uh, you know, he's talking about Christianity and Islam, right? So Christianity doesn't say a woman should wear a mini skirt. It doesn't say that. It says you should dress up uh, modestly. So that has nothing. But on, his, on the other hand, Islam forces them to wear a hijab. 
okay? You can be killed for not, or you can be raped for not, because if you are a loose woman, you are not wearing a job, then that means that you are you're free. The, the people can do whatever, you know? That's Islam. And that's what I'm talking about is like, look, we don't need that. You guys come from your country and bring it over here and say, oh, we want to bring Islam. Wait a minute, you have Islam over there. Over there in your country, you're running away. People are running away out of those countries. And you're bringing it over here and they're telling us that you, this is the right thing. No, it's not the right thing. If left. it was the right thing, then this would have worked for your country. But your countries are killing women for not wearing a job. In, in, in Saudi Arabia, you cannot go out with that. In the Afghanistan, wherever you have Islam, any degree of control, wherever the government has control, and they're Islamic, they do that to you. So this is what your country, this is what your religion does to women. And then they say, oh, it's, not, it's my choice. No, it's not your choice. He just told you. You said that earlier. This lady over here, I spoke to her earlier. She said, oh, I have, a, I have a choice. Nobody's forcing me to wear it. And he comes along and says, no, you are she supposed to wear, to wear it. Shh. No, she, she does not. Brother, 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 he's got a time. Islam. He's got one and a half minute. He's got one they're and, and a half minute. Wear it. Carry on talking. They say talking. that they're not forced to wear it, but they're forced to wear he's, he's talking. They're forced to wear a, a, a hijab. One minute. That is their problem. In Islam, they just pretend. They, they think that everybody's Western. Of course, I'm not Western raised. So I'm not an idiot. Like a lot of people in the West, they don't know Islam. I know that. I know what they are. I know what their, their teachings are. I know what their societies are like. I know how hideous you know it is for women to be in Islam. They have a hell on earth. And in Jannah, they have, a, when they go up there, women get nothing it's like men. Men, they get 72 hories. What is that? You're jealous, bro. 30 right? seconds. Whatever jealous. You're jealous Why bro. would I be jealous of something that doesn't exist? You hate I'm not an idiot. 30 seconds. Okay, go ahead. No, I'll give you the 30 Thank seconds. You're very kind. You're very kind. Okay, look at the claim, yeah? He uses one example, which is Iran. Why don't we talk about France, where hijab is being banned? You see these French um, actors cutting their hair. Why were they not bloody wearing the hijab when the hijab is being uh, told the woman to stop wearing the hijab in France? Nothing said. Iran, one girl who dies. And by the way, one. please show me. <laughs> Thanks. Are you finished your celebration? Yeah? One, tell me any Islamic law in the Quran or the Sunnah that said if a woman doesn't wear, you can rape her or kill her. I will give you, I think I've got some savings in my bank. I think I saved about a thousand pounds. I will give you a thousand pounds cash here. If you can prove to me in the Quran that says if a woman doesn't wear the hijab, kill her or rape her. I dare you. Number two, in your book actually, you know what it says? If a woman comes to the church, or along those lines, if she doesn't wear the hijab, forget, forget that. It says shave her head off. Shave, you know shave? Has, you must get a haircut, yeah? That's All right, have a little skin again, fade, yeah? Again, okay, number one. Up. Let me finish. I'm making my stuff, yeah? yeah? Okay. Yeah, make it up. So the point, the point is what? And he goes, what does he say? He goes, um, in these women, they are told they are forced. The differentiation I'm making is the following. As a Muslim man, I have to grow my beard. I also have to cover from the navel to the knee. I have to wake up and pray. Do I do that because I want to? Not necessarily. I do it because Allah told me to, and I submit myself to his will. Now, when the sister said she chooses to, she's saying she has the free will to do that. But if Allah, even if she didn't want it, if Allah said it, she has to do it. Now, what is the difference? Now, he's thinking, poor Muslim woman, being told what to do. What did he say? He said, I'm a Christian man and I believe in modesty. What's your level of modesty? Please tell us, because now what you're doing is what? As a Christian, you believe the Christian woman should dress up modestly, meaning your God is also telling them how to dress. Then why do you have a problem with Islam? Please answer that. And number two, he says, Muslim women are oppressed. Read the book, Beauty Sick. You know what she says in that book? Let me see how long I've got left. Before I, is she a Christian? One second, let me finish, please. Is that a Christian no, she's, book? No, she's, she's, she's a non-believer. Yeah? Oh, non-believer. Yeah, she's not Muslim. Okay, so you're going to quote a non-believer Yes, I've got a minute and a half. You know why she gives statistics? Now, what do the statistics show? It shows that the woman, look what she says. She goes, there was a specific woman she interviewed, and the woman goes, I used to sleep around. Listen carefully, because I feel ugly and the only way that I can attract the opposite gender is by sleeping around. And there are girls there who are starving themselves, you know why? To get the ideal body. That is the greatest oppression that has ever hit any woman on this earth. The point I'm trying to say is the following. The Western woman is not free. Neither is the Christian or the Muslim woman. The difference is what? We obey what God told us. And the Western woman obeys what? The beauty standard and many other factors, the opposite gender, to dress up in a skirt or a mini skirt. That is my claim. So I've got 10 seconds to ask my question again. You said, as a Christianity said, a woman should dress up modestly. Then what is your problem with Islam? Because Christianity also says dress up modestly. What is modesty? Okay, there is no, nowhere in history that, people, that the Christian 
a government or anything of a Christian country has killed any woman for dressing modestly or immodestly. Okay? No, no, leave him, leave him, leave him, brother, please leave him. Okay, no, you can change if you want. He just quoted somebody who's not a, who's an atheist. You didn't have any problem then. He, he quoted somebody. One second, guys, 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 one second, one second, one second. One second. Guys, guys, did he stop me when I was talking? Okay. Let's be so just, no, please, no. let him talk. Carry on, now, sorry. When you, when you, when you have a, any, any Christian government or country where women are oppressed for either immorally or morally dressing, then you can come back and say, you know, this is wrong. But in Islam, in your countries, women are getting raped, beaten, killed for exposing themselves and not wearing hijab and stuff like that. That is your country. That's Islam. I'm saying we don't need that in this we don't want the pollution of that kind of mentality in this society because you come from that society where you have this and you run away from that society. Everybody's running away from those countries, coming to the West. Why are they coming? Why are the refugees not running to Muslim countries? Muslim refugees are coming to these countries. And now you're saying that, no, 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 uh, we are right because we are bringing this. Uh, no, we don't want this here. We don't who, need. Who you? Uh, we don't. We don't. Brother, need, to, we don't need this. this society Brothers, I'm gonna walk off. We don't need your. Brother, let the guy talk. Brother, brother, let the guy talk. Please, let him talk. It's not what we need because you have your country. Brother, talk to me. Talk to me, please. And, please. and you have messed up your own country. And now you, you got one. You got one minute. Let him talk, okay. please. So that, that's all I'm gonna say. It's like you know. That's that's the problem. Women are killed in Iran right now for not wearing a hijab. Okay, and that is the same in all the other countries. There are also, there were other things. They do uh, oppress minorities in their countries. We're not, this, these countries, they don't oppress them. That's why they're all here. They have no oppression here. In Islam, it's oppression for women, for minorities, for everybody. That's, That's how your countries are. We don't need that here. You guys come here and say, oh, we want to bring Islam here. Why, why you have your Islam in your countries? Why don't you live in those countries? Or why don't anybody want to live in those countries? They all want to get a visa to outside those, those countries. Your time is up now. One second, one second. Are you finished? No. Yeah. Okay, first you didn't answer my question. Very clearly, what did I say? He said that the care. Christianity the says... Wasn't worth Christian, Christianity says, thank you, it's, it's clear. Let, let, let yeah, the sure. decide, yeah? Very simple. You said Christian women have to be modest. What's modesty? Doesn't you, if that's the case, that means your God is saying a Christian woman should be modest, but then you have a problem with the God of uh, Islam saying you should be modest. You mean the moon God. It doesn't make sense. Whatever, look, look, whatever you want to call it. The point is this. Islam, God says do something bad. Christianity says good. Okay, contradiction, yeah? The point I'm saying is this. He says in Islamic countries, they get raped and killed. I, I, what was the question I asked? Can you please bring me a single Quran ayah, a single hadith that says, if a woman dresses immodestly, you should kill her or rape her? None. Zero. Number two, check this out. We look at statistics. 95% of women in the Western world have been sexually assaulted one way or another. Now, let this say, what did he say? Muslim countries rape, yeah? The Western woman, there was even a woman in South London who was killed. Do you know how many women are sexually assaulted? Not That's not the point here. <laughs> the, the point. That's not the point. <laughs> That's not the point. The point is this. In Islamic country, there is no legislation that says you can kill or rape a woman because she doesn't wear the hijab. This is nonsense. Bring your evidence. I thought so. Moving swiftly on. The point is this. No, excuse me. No, I'm so sorry. Let me finish. So the point is what? A woman. Are you a Christian woman? Uh, Madam, don't, are you Christian? Don't talk to the audience. Are you Christian? Talk to me. You're okay. Talking to me or... Do you believe you're dressing you modestly? No, no, no. Listen, listen. Don't, don't. One second. Do no, no, you believe you're dressing oh, modestly? No, he's changing. No, don't, don't. No, 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 Thank no, you. No, no, no. no but okay, then talk. Then don't talk. If you're just asking, then don't talk. So the point I'm trying to say is this. Yeah, they are claiming. He said Christian woman has to dress up modestly. Okay, what is modesty? Can you tell me? Is it a woman that wears a skirt here? 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 Where? Well, tell me, I want to know what modesty is to you. In Islam, we have one definition of modesty. As a Christian, you, what is, is your modesty? Look, look, what is it? And if there is a modesty, your argument backfires because you're claiming Islam says that women have to dress up modestly? Bad. I'm saying, okay. But then you're saying Christianity says women have to dress up modestly. So please answer my question. Okay, Let's have a dialogue. So are you finished? Yes, I'm finished. Let's okay. have a dialogue. You time. said Christianity. What is the modesty for Christian women? So now, um, the modesty, modesty, God does not give us everything that we, we are humans. We can, every culture has their own uh, criteria for modesty. No, no, what does okay? God say? No, no, no. God, God does not, it's, he leaves it up to us. So, to can, make so, can, our, so can a Christian woman go in a bikini to church? To church? Yeah. 
No. Why not? Look at no. this. Why are you oppressing her? What do you mean oppressing her? You're oppressing the woman. She wants to go in the bikini to church. Why don't you go naked then? Yes, why doesn't she go naked? Right. She should do, go naked. Why does she go to Mecca naked with a with a, with one uh, thing? Why is that? Is this because you, you Islam naked. allowed for naked? Because uh, naked. Yeah, because the Hajj was naked. Do you know what naked means? Yeah, nude. <laughs> yes, nothing on. Nothing on. So who, so who ever went, a, have, who went to Hajj doing that? You have no underwear. The men have no underwear. The women have no underwear. Are you covered? And they're walking around. Are you covered? Are you covered with one sheet? Yes. Is that right? Yes, yes. Yes, that's, yes, it's, that's not naked. So now, let's you got your definition of naked wrong. Listen to this. They're talking about rape. What right? is now, what is safe a Christian this. woman? In Islam, you have to have four eyewitnesses for a rape, right? You're changing and the topic. So now, in the, I'm so and in the, the, brothers, brothers, well, I, then I, then well, I, I, you're not helping me. Well, I, I'm listen, trying. You know why he's gonna listen. What's modesty for Christian woman? So here's here's the thing. No, no. What's the modesty for Christian woman? Four witnesses for for rape, right? No. How many people have been convicted in any Muslim country by four witnesses? That word. My, my Show friend, me one, my friend. one, one case right now my in the last ten years where there was one Muslim country okay. where there was one person, woman who okay. was raped okay. and she brought four okay. witnesses okay. and the uh, guy was convicted. Who, who said, Show me one. Who said? Who said? One second. One second. One second. Who because said? Because that is an impossible. You're ignorant. Thing. The reason why that came out said you need was to bring because witnesses. Aisha was. They were no, accusing no, her, no, and then no, when Muhammad no, found no. out that she might have done something, no. he said, "Do you have four witnesses?" No, no. That's, 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 what, that's, where that's not the true. That's not true. From. That's how it's Can you please works. tell me where in the so Quran? Now, where in the Quran? To me, why where in the Quran talking? does it say I wasn't you need four witnesses for rape? It's okay for him to interrupt. No, no, we're having a dialogue. No, no, we're having a dialogue. I'm going to go to the next one. And I hope no, no, you no, stop no, no, stick to it. Stick to it. No, we said no, we're having a dialogue. I hope you stop interrupting. I said we're having a dialogue. I did not. I said we're having a dialogue. Now you are changing to dialogue. Before I said we finished. Now we're having a dialogue. He's done with his time. Now he wants to go. No, I'm not doing a dialogue. I'm taking my time. Okay, after you, I'm going to have a dialogue. I gave you your time. After you, okay, you've been talking. Then you can talk. Okay, no problem. There's another example. Recently, there was. There was a case in um, Egypt where there was a young girl, she was married to a man, she was like six years old. He had sex with her until she died. There was a big uproar in Egypt and they all said this law should stop. We cannot have children married to you know, uh, uh, men. And they, then the mullahs came and said that's un-Islamic, you cannot do that. Every time this happens in the Muslim countries, the mullahs come and they stop this laws anytime. The same thing in in uh, Pakistan when they have like these blasphemy laws. Forty five seconds. And when the guy who in the government who opposes the blasphemy law says that's not Islamic, they kill him in in public. They shoot him. They kill all the people in Islam who ever oppose anything that's uh, against a burqa or that's niqab or if it's against uh, you know blasphemy law or anything. So in Islam, that's their repressive government that they run away from and then come over here and say, we want to have Islam. If you want to have Islam, you have Islam in your country. Why don't seconds. you live in those countries? Why are people running away? Why aren't people refugees going into those countries? They don't even take their own refugees in their own countries. Why is that? Is that Islam? Ten that is seconds. Islam. That's what you're coming. Okay. Yeah. I, I would like to. I would, I would like to. I would, I would like to have a dialogue now. Yeah. Did you so guys, show me yeah. where? No. Show me. Can I, can show I me where okay, you have a woman who was raped Thank and you. brought four witnesses in the last ten years. Thank you. Show me. Thank you. Show me. Show me. So, guys, what was the question? Two questions I asked him. He talked about modesty. I said, what is modesty for God, uh, for women? And also, if that's the case, why are you having to go at Islam if the same ruling applies in your scripture? Have you guys ever seen the picture of Virgin Mary? Have you guys seen it? You have, like, you know they have a picture? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is she wearing a hijab or not? Yes. Oh, she's wearing a hijab. Okay. So, there was a Christian woman here. She wasn't wearing a hijab. Yeah? And also the Bible says you should shave your head off if you don't wear the hijab. Now, 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 the second question I asked was what? What, what did I say? Where in the Islam, the Quran, the Hadith, or anywhere in the Islamic literature, does it say rape and kill a woman? Any answer? No. Kind of. answer. What did he do? He went to rape and you four didn't witnesses. My question, now, did you? now, what was his? Uh, now I'm gonna, I'm not gonna do what you're doing to me. You said that we need four witnesses for rape. Where did you get that from? We have a hadith of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. A woman was sexually assaulted at his time, and then what happened is, at the night time, you don't see who is who. She grabbed onto someone who was walking past, and she held him, and he said, "Oh, Messenger Allah, it was him." Yeah, and the man said, "It wasn't me." Okay, was there four witnesses? No. So that means the Sharia law, there is no four witnesses. He just changed the Sharia law. So from now on, because of him, there is no four witnesses there go. There go. required. There go. That's his law. So now you're going to follow his law, not no. Sharia law. No problem. That's so, his law. So the Sharia law says very clearly, when it comes to zina, adultery, zina, you need four witnesses. So it's just your ignorance. I'm educating you here. We're learning today, yeah? Number two, that woman that, woman that grabbed that man, 
the man who actually did it came because the capital punishment was going to be applied on him, yeah? Okay, some kind of a capital punishment. The man came and said it was me. Okay, so we know now you lied. Now, number two, I want to ask again, what is the dress code for a Christian woman? It's a dialogue. What is the dress code? Please tell me, is this woman wearing a cross uh, to Christian values or not? Please tell me. As long as she's uh, modest, that's fine. What's modesty? You go to a woman, she says, Mean, excuse modesty for me. What's your modesty? That's fine if she's wearing. That's fine because you go to church like woman. that. Okay, listen. Yes. If the woman is wearing a mini skirt, yes. as a Muslim man, what are you yes. supposed to do? Nothing. Nothing. We're, not, we're not to look away. Oh, you have to look to away. look away. Okay, yes. Because if you look at her, what would happen? Nothing would happen. I don't want to look at her. Uh, you don't want to look at yes, her? Yes, I don't want to look at her. Because Allah said, don't look at her. Yes. Right? Okay. Yeah, unlike no. you, you would stare at right. her up and down. Right. My God said. Yeah that you should not think any bad thoughts. That means even if the woman is naked in front of you, you should be so pious in your head, in your heart. Are you like that? Yeah. That's what you're supposed to Are you like that? Be, you are supposed to Don't try it, bro. So what? Don't try it, bro. That's, that's fine. Don't try it. Don't look at your... That is the... That, <laughs> Don't try it. You, you, you know it's naughty. You know When Islam you know doesn't give you this... Lie. This is the standard that Christianity gives that Islam cannot come close to. Do okay. you understand if that? You see a woman. Your God does not have this high standard. My you asked me a question. You're going to allow me to answer. Yes, you did. Your, your, uh, but no. Islam does not allow you any freedom. You just have to look down. Why? Why can't you hold your? You should be in your heart. You have a. If you got, have yeah. God in fear yeah. in your heart, yeah. even if the woman is like that, you would not have bad thoughts. Okay, one second. Because you would not be tempted. You are tempted, one and second. that's your. So. Because you're tempted, you're going to cover the woman up? Yeah. Why? You're going to repress you her? You because that. you're tempted, you, you can't that. control you, you, yourself? You said the Quran said that. You said, you said the Quran said that. You said, you said the Quran said that. Said that. You, you said the Quran said that. You have to lower your gaze. But who said the Quran said that? You have to lower your gaze. That means your woman has to go. The woman no. doesn't have to no. cover. No. Why does no. she have to cover Again. if you're going to lower your gaze? Good. So you're not going to lower your gaze. The woman has to cover. That's what the reality is. That's what he's not telling you. Where in the Quran does it say? Where in the Quran? This way is ignorance. Where in the Quran does it say? Women cover up because men can't lower their gaze. Bring me one verse. Yes, I'm good. Eh? Quiet. You see that silence? <laughs> we can have a moment of silence for it. Let's have a moment of silence. <laughs> ten seconds, ten seconds. <laughs> That's a moment of silence for your ignorance. Nowhere in the Quran does it say men, men are animals. That's what women cover up. No. Allah says what? Allah says in the Quran, tell the believing men to lower your gaze. He's saying, so if you see a woman, yeah, a very attractive woman, dressed up in a certain way. You're telling me you're going to be staring and be like, I'm so pious. Let's call her. Nothing's going to happen to me. Yeah, bro, I know you. I know you from your face. You, you, I know what will happen to you, yeah? You'll have to have a ghusl. You'll have to have a ghusl. Yeah, you'll have to have a shower. The point I'm saying is what? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. That's what will, that's what will happen to you if you see a woman. That's, that's how what happened to you. He was. You, you, he was you a wet dirty yourself. person. That's you wet yourself. Was. So now the point is what, guys? Yeah? He couldn't answer my question. What is modesty for a Christian woman? Please tell her she wants to know where is she? What? Please tell her. What? How should she dress? How should she dress? God does not tell you okay. how to do this. Then why is modesty? God gives you a moral then why is modesty? Law. God gives you a moral law. You gives your brain. Can she wear bikini? No. If your brain Can she wear bikini in church? If your brain, if you're that her brain, not my brain, her brain. If your brain says her brain. that no, listen. God does not say you have to wear this, you cannot wear that. Okay, so okay? she wear a bikini. Now listen, he said dress modestly. What's that? What, what does that mean? What is modesty? Okay, what does a modesty mean in uh, let's say in Sri India, Lanka, in, different. in India, in, in Sri Lanka, in, 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 can you, you're Sri Lankan. Can you wear a, if you wear a bikini? Let's, what let's would happen? Any country have their own culture. Okay, what's your culture? In Africa, what's your culture? You go anywhere. Sri Lankan culture. Their what is own it? Modesty. Would you allow whatever your wife to wear bikini? Is, would you allow your wife fine. to wear bikini? Whatever their modesty is. Bro, you know you, you would probably if, I, if that's if that's you will probably that's what it is, that's what you will go mad at no, your wife if she done that's that. That's the thing. Your 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 religion is not going giving you what God in our religion yes, gives us a standard. Your what standard? God has what a very standard? Low standard? What's modesty your standard? Very low standard? Okay. Our standard okay. is that your moral your moral morality should be that high that you should not what? be tempted what is by it? any woman. What is the moral moral? Um, uh, that is what I'm saying. What's the standard? You said what, your God gives you. It does not say you have to cover the woman. Okay. Okay, what? Cover your heart, your mind, your your heart. How do you cover your heart? That your heart does not get out of control. Okay, but how That's do you, what it is. That you don't you sin cover? in your heart for that woman. Okay. That's what then God Then why does against. God say shave your head? Why does no, no, God no. say shave your head? To shave your head is what you're saying. The Bible is no. saying. Show me the verse. No problem. No problem. No problem. Did I drop something? No, no problem. I'm going to show you now, yeah? The Bible says, shave your head 
if you don't wear the niqab, right? Watch this. Yeah. Yeah. Don't wear the niqab. Show me the verse. Show me the verse. What are you going to do if he finds the verse? Watch this. Watch this. Let's see. Watch this. Shave your head Bible. Yeah, all I have to say is that. Yeah. Watch this. In the book of Leviticus, chapter 14, verse 9. Leviticus. On the seventh day, yes. Okay. Are you going to read me one verse or are you going to read the whole chapter? No, no, no. Because I want to get the whole. Yes. One yeah, second. I want to get the whole thing. One second, uh, one second. We'll get the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, sure. And if you do, you're going to have to apologize, yeah? No, 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 no. no. Yes, 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 yes. No. Yes, I yes, said, yes, yes. Listen. Corinthians, one second, there we go. First Corinthians, yeah. uh, open it. 11, chapter 11, verse 5. Can okay. you open it? Please? No, no, no. Let's no, no, read no, no, it. Let's no, no. read the whole chapter. No, I want to read the context. Okay, you open your Bible, please. No, no, no. You read it. You're the one who brought it up. But any woman who prays or prophesies with her head uncovered disgraces her head. Listen, okay. listen, listen. Oh. Listen. Listen to the Listen. Whole, listen to the whole context. Are you man's ready? He's not. He's not going to read. Is everybody it. He's ready? He's not going to read the context. He's not going to. He's going to pick out one verse, one word. There it is. That's it. But that's what you know. You know. You know. You know what's funny? You know what's funny? He does the same with the Quran. Goal. He takes the Quran verse out of context no, and he's upset. Verse. I got it. I got it. Okay, but listen. any woman yeah. Yeah. who prays. Who or what? prophesies? Who does what? Praise. Praise. Or prophesies. Or prophesies. With her head uncovered. With her head uncovered. Disgraces her head. Disgraces her head. For it is a one. For it is one. And the same thing. Well, the same thing. As having, and having a shaved head. As having a shaved head. Does now, it say you have to shave your head? One does second. it say that you are out in the market? You have to do it when you're pro prophesizing. This is, this is the standard. Praying, this is the standard. Different thing. Don't, don't cry. Don't cry. That's what it is. It's okay. And it's okay. in the Old Testament. Don't be upset. You're talking to don't be upset. A Jewish <laughs> don't be upset. Don't be upset. Audience. Don't be upset. That is a out of context. Out of context. Out of context. Does not say shave your shave your head. Out of context, guys, guys, check this out. Yeah, he's got convicted out of his own mouth. Guys, guys, the same words that guys, guys, one second, one second. You disproved this. One second. The Bible says. The Bible says. If you don't wear the hijab, shave your head. In the Quran and the Sunnah, there is no prescribed punishment if a woman doesn't wear the hijab. It's a sin. But it doesn't say shave her head. It doesn't say that. It says as if. Thank you. There you go. There you go. Now that's what it says. It says as if. Doesn't say shave her head. You got exposed. He put into it. You got. Thank you. Exposed. Thank you for lying on camera. No standards. Just, that's all no you can standards. do is lie about the Quran. A woman can wear bikini in the church. That's what you can do is lie about naked, the Quran on camera, which I love. That's I love you why, doing that because now you are exposing Islam, that you can do women. anything other than lie about the Quran. And that's it. Bible, lie about the Quran you're in finished. front of everybody, you're in front done. of camera. You. you just lied. Now I need to go pray Maghrib. That's enough. We shave no woman's head. Always what Islam does. No woman's head is being shaved. You just said. Who is that? Can someone? Yeah, that's what Quran says. Cover up, otherwise you can abuse the woman. Thank That's you. what he doesn't want to say. The Quran says 